10 fragrances that smell like niche fragrances. Detour Noir by Al Haramain. An incredible fragrance. It smells to me when it opens up like apple and cinnamon. It's totally mass appealing, totally sexy. Very cool scent sprayer. It comes out pressurized, which means you could spray it, spray it, spray it, and it still doesn't dent. It puts out the perfect amount of fragrance on your skin. It lasted on my skin eight hours. The projection is incredible. You can wear this fragrance with any sort of clothing, like dressed up, dressed down, all parts of the world, United Kingdom, Pakistan, the heat, Nigeria, wherever you live in the United States, Oklahoma, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, LA. I'm watching you guys. This thing is all mass appealing, all blind by number one fragrance to give. And it smells just like a $300 fragrance called Parfums de Marley Layton. Next fragrance is called Al Harmain Royal Stallion Portfolio Edition. There's a portfolio line, and this is called Royal Stallion. You have almond, jasmine, lavender, vanilla. This thing smells like Pegasus, which is another Parfums de Marley. The fragrance of this is so strong and a huge scent trail. It's like an upscale version clone version for people that have like 50 or 60 dollars to spend to smell like the 300 dollars fragrance and if you only had 30 dollars to spend you would find rmf craze so there's different levels of clones to buy to smell like expensive and this one is awesome you have to wait for the dry down again it starts out a little bit fruity and then it turns really good the next fragrance is called Alharmain Opulent Saffron. However, there's no saffron in it. It's got cherry blossom, opulent saffron. Take a look at this. It does have cherry blossom in it. It has suede and heliotrope, and it's an amazing central that anyone can wear. It smells so good, so close to Tom Ford Tuscan leather. Very men or women can wear this. I want to spray it all over me, but I already have some Sauvage Eau de Parfum today. But I would totally recommend you get this. I found it for $65 to $70, and, and that's the price I would recommend. There are those sites that try to know, so there's sites that try to tax you $150. Don't pay more than $70 for this, but it's totally 1,000% worth it, and it lasts long, and it projects awesome. Another one that's very well worth it, that lasts long and projects awesome and smells like another Tom Ford fragrance, is called Bakur Asri. I don't know how to pronounce it, I apologize. It's called Bakur Asri by Raif. It was $25. It smells like Tom Ford Noir. It, you started off with saffron, vanilla, and it does have some cedar wood and sandalwood. The longevity is nice. The sprayer is nice. I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. The next one blew my mind away because it's like a cheap looking bottle. It's called Ragba for Men, limited edition Eau de Parfum. It has lemon, iris, violet, and leather. The sprayer comes out like that, and that's why it's like some 1970s style sprayer. No offense to those of you who are that year, but this thing, after it dried down, Lasted all day long and smells like Creed Green Irish Tweed. It is synthetic at first, but after that, it's awesome. It was 26 bucks, and Creed Green Irish Tweed is real high. The next one is called Paris Corner Vetiver Delight. I'm still testing it, but it does slightly remind me of Tom Ford Venetian Bergamot, which is a delicious fragrance. Now, if anyone has any experience with Vetiver Delight, it would behoove you to help the fragrance community in the comments below and tell us what your thoughts are and like type out your review on this page and I would greatly appreciate it. Coming up, we do have a fragrance that replicates Tom Ford Lost Cherry if you wanted to get something for your woman. And while, while we're on that note, we're almost to Valentine's Day, I would recommend you get Sweet Tooth by White Chocolate. It's an odor parfum. If you were to buy this for your lady, or if you're a lady looking for something delicious, it's so good, I would almost spray this to myself. It smells like a dessert that good. It lasts long. It's like 100% 
get this fragrance if you like sweet fragrances. I love this. The next fragrance is by Outer Math, and it smells like Bleu de Chanel. It's called Silver Margarine. It's very synthetic, but the magic on this is in the dry down. It does last long. It's a cool silver bottle. And at the end of the video, I will show you a fragrance that smells like Blue de Chanel that lasts three days. But first, this one will show you the sprayer. It's 2016. It smells all right, kind of like a pencil, kind of like that citrus opening. Not bad, you know, not bad at all. I, I like the way this smells. For the money, it was $26. Again, another $26 fragrance. I found this one on Amazon. I don't even know. It's called Pandora Sense Eau de Parfum. Now with this fragrance, I personally have a nose with this. I could smell all the way through the chemical composition. I could smell the terrible chemical. I, I, I'm not going off on this. I'm going to tell you what I smell. Like a sewage, like chemicals, okay? Because to replicate the real Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which I have owned and I have worn before several, several times, it's very difficult. And then it blew my mind away like 15 minutes later. It's so strong projection. You can buy it on Amazon for $27.95 or something dirt cheap like that. And it smelled just like Tom Ford Lost Cherry and it was crazy. And I don't know about chemicals and mathematics and science I wish I did because I don't understand why it starts off kind of bittery and weird like that and it's so strong I can't like even spray it because it'll blow up the room but definitely has that cherry note definitely has that boozy note it's called boozy cherry but it smells like lost cherry Man, that one's a beast mode Next we have another Alaharmin. It's called Oud Adam Saffron Nutmeg and Patchouli. And this fragrance has a strong scent sprayer and a strong oud note in it. And it's delicious. And look, it's magnetic. It comes in this box like this. So it says 50 year anniversary. And I want you to know that this is one of the best renditions of Initio's Oud for Greatness starting off with delicious notes and it's about another fragrance that you'll see up and down on the, on the internet. Don't pay more than $60. The longevity on this was like easy eight hours and the projection's way above average and it smells very, very good and accurate to that initio. When do you wear a fragrance like this anyway? Please do comment down below. When do you wear oud fragrances? Because I personally love to smell them but I don't know when I wear them it's kind of like off-putting to those around me. I know Middle Eastern people wear this every single day and that's what you smell. And if you want it to smell like this cheaper, then find this $25, $30 fragrance called Goodness Oud. I just found it. It's by Reefs and I'd recommend you to get this. The next fragrance is smelling like Killian's Back to Black. It's got tangerine and iris and you can wear this in any I think you can wear this almost any kind of weather. It does have cumin, strawberry, and black pepper. It looks like this. The best part about this, it lasted 10 hours and it was only 25 bucks. The next fragrance is for you old school. It's a bonus. It's called English Leather Black. It was 10 or $12. It looks like this. And in the old days, they actually made a Creed fragrance called Creed Royal Leather, I believe. Someone comment down below if they've ever tried this. It's citrusy, it's peppery, it's very much sure, old school style fragrance. And if you want to smell like Bleu de Chanel for three days on clothes, it smells like delicious green apple. It's called this.